I'm Stephen Ablett. This is the trainer for stretchy bands. Let's check out some of the tricks. Nice and quick and simple. We've got two bands around the wrist. Check them all the way around. I get them to choose a colour. Let's say they said blue. I go one, two, three and I can pull it right through my wrist. With one strand, there's a lot of tricks you can do. For instance, I can take this strand, lace it around my finger so it's trapped around like so. I can watch it jump from this knuckle to this knuckle by going one, two, three and it can feed itself across. I'll try that again from the next finger to the next finger. I just go one, two, three, and it can jump to the next finger. We'll try it one more time. We've got the finger just there, one, two, three. Now it jumps to the pinky. We can even make it pass through the pinky as well by going one, two, three, and it can pass through the pinky. Let's move on. We can take this band here and we can actually do something really cool with it. I take the strand and I'll just literally take it like so, and you can watch as I snap it in half and then simply click and feed it back together again. We can take it even further, we can take a second band. I've got this band around my wrist here, let's use this yellow one. If we take one band, the blue one and the yellow one, feed them through each other like so. Simply trap them around the spectator's thumb, I'll do it from now for now. So we've got the blue one up top, the yellow one at the bottom. You can do a simple trick where you simply take the bands, give them a little pull and they can change places. Yellow is now trapped around my thumb, blue is down below. If you miss that, we can do that and put it back together again. Let's go even further. We'll take this yellow band, trap it in here with the band. I'll get them to name a colour, let's say blue again. If I just literally pull, it can melt off the foot. Let's take it even further. We're going to take these bands and I'll wrap them around my wrist. I'll have the spectator hold out their wrist and we can jump from my hand to their hand, just like that. If you want to go even further, we can take it. We'll use my leg. We'll actually go one, two, three, and it can feed itself around the leg. Or through the leg, really, if you should be saying. Let's take it even further. We're going to take one of these tricks and we'll take one of these bands, for instance. Uh, we'll wrap it around the hand like so. If I was to place my hands like this, or it could be the spectator's hands, I could go one, two, three, and it could feed itself across. In fact, we can make it go even further by doing something look, such as the band through fingers. If I take one band, I'll take the blue one, place it around the hand like so. I'll even wrap it through the fingers and around all four fingers so you can see the band is knotted around and watch, I just take one strand and go one, two, three and it can feed itself through all the fingers. Let's try and do that again one at a time, one finger at a time. I'll take the band, pass it around each and every one of the fingers like so. In fact, you can keep your eye on all those four fingers as it's wrapped around. The first finger it's going to go through is the pinky, I just go one, two, three and it passes through the pinky. We'll make it go for the other fingers, might happen fast, just like this. We can go even further, we can go uh, a jumping band. Let's take these blue, let's take the blue one again. I'll wrap it three times around the fingers like this. You should watch as I take that band, go one, two, three, and it can jump across. We can even make it go a bit further. I'll try that one more time, um, and go one, two, three, and we can make it jump back. I'll take the yellow one, place that around these bands here, Watch, we've got the yellow band and the blue band, both of a different set of fingers. I can go one, two, three, and they can change places. Let's go even further. I'll take the blue band again, it's things a bit more visible for you. I can make a prediction. If I, if I, I'm gonna, before I go to that one, I'm gonna place the band around this finger here, just here. You can watch as it jumps from there to there, and there back to there again. Or we can go from here over to there, or there over to there. Let's go even further. If I place it onto this finger just here, yeah, I place it on this finger here. This is my prediction. I'm going to predict this finger, I'm going to pick a number um, on my clock here, it says 27, so I'm just going to go for 27, um, and we're going to try and work out what 27 is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and we predict that finger. I can do this for any number going, trust me, any number that you pick. Let's try something else, the penetrating thumb. If I take this band, place it around the thumb, watch it as I just wrap it completely around, I can go one, two, three, and it can melt through the thumb. We can even make it do some other cool stuff. Let's try some linking bands. I can take the two bands, blue and the red, yellow. We'll uh, literally just spread them out. I usually get the spectators to help out in this, but in this case, I just go one, two, three, and they can melt together. In fact, we can make them unlink by just going one, two, three, and they can unlink. In fact, let's try my linking bands. I'll take the two bands again. Um, I'm going to literally take one, two strands. I just take two ends and pull, and we might need to tr get those two ends together a bit more. One, two, three, and we should be able to link those two bands together. I don't know if that's clearly visible for you, so I'll try that one more time. Try to do so many tricks so fast just to make it nice and easy for you guys to watch. 
One, two, three, there we go. In fact, we can show them linked quite cleanly. Yeah, all I need to do is just take two of the ends and give a little pull and they can melt apart. You can even try and take these bands, feed them through each other and I can tie a little bow here at the bottom. And what we can actually do is a kind of pendant routine. So if I take them over like this and watch circles and I can make the, pen, I can make the thing move in circles. Stop and I can keep it still. Swing and stop. I could go through this all day long, but I'm sure many of you who are watching this trailer now have their own pendant routines. Let's move on. Uh, we've got band through spectator's fingers, band through wrists. Uh, in order to do some other ones, I'm going to use my handstand here. It comes in handy at times. If I place this band around their thumb, for instance, all I need to do is wrap it around their thumb. You can see it's trapped there, but as soon as I'll, I'll even, I'll keep hold of it, they can normally hold of it. And whenever I wish, I can go one, two, three, and it can pass through their thumb. We can make it go through their wrist as well. In fact, if I use the blue band, well, um, there's a few variations of this effect on the DVD, um, but what we'll do is we'll take both of the, we'll take the strand, double it over, so there's two there. Uh, I'll wrap it around their hand, for the sake of it, they will be holding on. I'm going to take one strand to go one, two, three, and it can pass through their wrists. There's variations of that, just as like we did earlier, we can make it go through their arms as well. Let's see if we try anything else. Uh, we've got so many tricks we can try and do. You've got variations of other classic popular tricks. This is what's known as a generalized thumb tie. We've tied it around our thumbs. We're completely locked in place, yet whenever I wish, I can be out and yeah, I can be back in again within an instant. So there's a cool trick there. Uh, you've also got variations of the uh, variation of other penetrations of fingers. So if I place one band, literally chase it, place it around the finger, I can go one, two, three, and it can pass through the finger. Um, if I do that towards the camera, Hopefully, one, two, three. Try to do everything on the best as I possibly can. Uh, you've got fast and loose, or noughts and crosses as I call it. It's the same game. Uh, what we've got is we've taken the band, I can take my finger out or my thumb out, and whatever I want it to do. So if I want it to be loose, it's loose. If I want it to be loose on the thumb, um, I have to take the finger out, one second. <laughs> if I want it, I take the finger out and it's loose on the thumb. Or if I want it to lock, I can make it lock. And I can make it lock on the finger just as much as well. So either way, I have complete control of the game. You've got vanishing bands. Let's try and make one of them. We'll try. We'll make some of them vanish as well. Uh, if I take the two bands, I'll wrap them around my wrist again, and we'll double them over. Um, I'll get them to choose a colour. Let's say they were to pick blue. We'll make the blue one vanish first by going one, two, three, and the blue one can vanish. We can make the yellow one vanish just as much. Uh, I think which we'll do to end this little sequence because I'm running out of tricks I can think I can teach <laughs> or go through. Watch one last time. One, two, three. And that's just a small selection of all the tricks you can do with these stretchy bands. Um, if you enjoy it, look at the product. If not, I hope you enjoy some of those tricks. See you soon.